Hey guys, uh, today I'll be showing you how to do how to do number 14 from the A, um, 2013 AP Calculus AB exam multiple choice section. So, so here's a problem right here. Uh, let f be the function given above. What are all values of a and b for which f is differentiable at x equals 1? So this is basically a piecewise function. So right here. Um, f is equal to x of x plus b if x is less than or equal to 1 and, and f of x is equal to a, ax squared if x is greater than 1. So the, the key to solving this problem is the word differentiable. Uh, when a function is differentiable at a certain point, it means that it's continuous at that point, which um, and at that point and that point in this case is 1. Since the function is continuous, uh, we can set the two functions equal to each other. So, x plus b equals a x squared. Um, now with this, you can take the derivative of the function since it is differentiable. Okay, so remember that when you derive, and for this, uh, problem that a and b are they're both constants so they can be so they have to be treated like constants and then so remember that when you derive a constant um, it automatically becomes a zero so if you derive this the formula would become one plus zero would equal and then for this case the a would stay because it's still a constant and with the power rule you, you multiply the constant with the x exponent so would be 2ax, so the 0 would automatically like cancel out, and then if you move the 2 over, it would be 1 half equals a to the x. And now you just have to solve for a, and then you can plug the, after you um, solve for a, you can plug it back into the original equation over here, and then you can solve for b. Remember that the function is differentiable at x equals 1, so you can plug in 1 for x. So in this case, so 1 half x would just simply equal a. So after, so after you solve for that, um, you can plug this a back into your original equation as well as the x. So if you do so, it would be 1 plus b equals 1. Um, so if you do this and then you solve everything out, uh, b would turn out to become negative half. And then now b equals negative half, a equals one half. So the answer choice would be a. Okay, thanks for watching guys.